So this video is about how to cut the antenna for a pico balloon. It's a very simple antenna. It's a dipole. Half the dipole goes between the balloon and the transmitter, and the other half of the dipole hangs down from the transmitter uh, for 20 meters, and that's typically the the band that we use. Uh, the length of the line is 17 feet. Now, in addition to the wire, there's a uh, a string. And that string is a support string to take the weight of the transmitter. The uh, wire is too thin to be used as a support for the transmitter. So here we go. These are the items that you need to make the antenna. Of course, you need the wire. I use 32 gauge wire. Other people use 34 gauge or 36 gauge. It saves some weight. It's a little bit uh, easier to break. I use, uh, you need wire cutters. You need the support string. This is what I use. This is made out of the Gore-Tex. It's good down to very low temperatures, and we reach some very low temperatures at night in the atmosphere as high as we go. Uh, you need scissors. You need a masking tape and a pen that can write on masking tape. You need scotch tape, and then you need something to measure 17 feet, and then you need two tubes. Now, these come from paper towels or wrapping paper or aluminum foil in the kitchen, kitchen drawers. So that's all we need. So let's get, get started. Okay, the first thing we do is we lay out how long 17 feet is. We mark that with a piece of masking tape and mark the edge that indicates 17 feet. In this case, you can see the arrow. That's where 17 feet ends. Okay, besides marking the ends of the 17 feet, also put a piece of tape about halfway, about eight and a half feet uh, in between the two end pieces. I usually start out by taping the end of the wire to the leg of a chair and then start running it down to the other end. Uh, before you do that, at this end, you should mark exactly where uh, 17 feet starts. It's always a good idea to leave extra wire at both ends of the of the cut because you may have a mistake you may have to cut some off at, at one end when you're putting it together so you always have a little bit extra that you can trim off at the very end okay here you can see I put a piece of tape on the wire that marks where 17 feet begins okay so then after unrolling the wire I put another piece of tape on the wire and mark where 17 feet ends so the next thing we do is we lay out the uh, supporting string, and that's the similar process. I tape it to the leg and then just unroll it down to the other end. Okay, you can then use the same piece of tape that you used for the uh, antenna to hold the string and cut off at least, at least an extra foot of string. Uh, next thing you need to do is put sp small pieces of scotch tape on the line and the wire to hold them together. Usually I use a bigger piece, fold it over both, and then use some scissors to trim it. Then you should put, put something like this about every three or four feet along the length of the wire. Okay, so when you're done, take the tape off the floor at both ends, then go to the middle where you put that piece of tape in the middle. Okay, so we're at the middle and we have a, a cardboard tube from a paper towel and what we're going to be doing is we're going to tape the the antenna to the center of the roll then we're going to roll up both ends simultaneously in the same direction the reason why we're going to do that is because then when you um, if you if you rolled everything up from the bottom uh, what you really want is the antenna on one part and the balloon on the other and that'd be very difficult to unroll when you have two objects on, on each end of the string with, with it rolled up. Okay, so here we have the rolled up antenna ready to attach to the balloon and the transmitter. This end will go and be attached to the balloon. This end will go and be attached to the transmitter. And one thing nice is that then you can just pull on this tube and the entire antenna will then unravel. Okay, now we're ready for the last step. I actually have got my transmitter hanging down below the 
solar panels. I've got the wires connected to the uh, top antenna and the bottom antenna. And this is what I use to uh, keep the uh, solar cells safe and I use this to transport the system out to the field and launch a launch from there. One thing I wanted to show you was that uh, remember the the markings were exactly 17 feet that we made? Well, I attached the end of the wire to the lower antenna and you can see I still have the still have the uh, marking here on a piece of tape of where the 17 uh, foot ends. So now I can go ahead and measure the length of this uh, wire here down to that point and go to the other end of the antenna and remove the appropriate amount to make everything work properly.